What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Night Owl channel. In this video, I'll be giving you guys some Town Hall 4 attack strategies for all you Town Hall 4s out there. And uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because I haven't gotten a lot of requests about Town Hall 4 attacks, but some people have definitely asked about it, so I'm just going to put it out there for anyone at the Town Hall 4 level. We're going to go over two different strategies. The first one's going to be Jai Barge, very basic attack, and then the second one is Mass Looms, another very basic attack. Two basic attacks. It's not very difficult to do either one. And uh, we're going to break down how to do both of those attack strategies. If this is the first video you've seen from my channel, I definitely appreciate you for watching. If there's any Town Hall 4s watching that want me to do like uh, bases or, you know, war bases or anything like that for Town Hall 4, let me know. But I'm only going to do some attack strategies right now because I didn't really get a lot of requests for like bases in general. Just more of like how do I attack at Town Hall 4 with such limited troops. So that's what we're going to cover in this video and uh, hope it helps you guys. Let's go ahead and jump into the first attack for Town Hall 4. Alright guys, we got our first replay here for Jai Barge, and as you can see on the bottom, I got 12 Barbarians, 30 Archers, 6 Giants, and 4 Wall Breakers. In the CC, we're going to have more Giants, and I don't remember what level they are. This is an old replay from a few weeks ago, but the main thing you want to focus on with this strategy is having more Archers than Barbarians, because the Archers are going to be the thing that you're going to use in order to kill the CC troops. So we're going to go ahead and play it here. And uh, what you're going to want to do is pull out the CC troops. So you just place one Barbarian or one Archer around the clan castle. And you're going to pull out the enemy CC troops away from the base. All right. And uh, once you get them far enough away, so we got a couple loons here. You cannot take down balloons with Barbarians. You have to use the Archers because they can, you know, shoot the balloons down. Barbarians won't be able to shoot down the loons and they'll just get killed. But you surround the loons with your Archers and you take down the CC troops. Once you have done that... Uh, you're pretty much set and ready to attack the base. What you're going to do is drop your Giants first, okay? There comes the CC Giants, and then you're going to send in a couple Wall Breakers to break the wall. Alright, once you open up the layer, Giants are going to swarm in, and they're going to take down all the defenses, and then you just drop Barbarians and Archers around the base to help clean up the base. It's a very easy attack strategy. It does not take a lot in order to pull it off. You just need to practice it a little bit, get the fundamentals down, and you'll have no problem 3-star and tons of bases with this strategy. In the next replay, I'm going to show you that you can also use hogs in the CC. Uh, it really doesn't matter what you use in the CC for Jai Barge. Anything is going to help the strategy. Any CC that you get for Jai Barge will be helpful. I mean, more barbarians, more archers, giants, uh, hogs, you know, anything like that is really going to help the strategy. So whatever you can get in the CC, giants and hogs is the top two. And then anything after that is uh, decently helpful as well as you can see here the Giants barbarians archers absolutely shred through everything and uh, It's going to be an easy three star. So that's the first replay for Jai Bards Next one we're gonna have is gonna have hog riders in it hog riders are a lot easier to use because when you place them down They actually jump over the walls and they attack the defenses directly But yeah, like I said a very easy strategy to do at Town Hall 4. All right, second replay we got here for Jai Barge. We're gonna go ahead and play it. This one, I have hogs in the CC and set up the giants. First thing you're gonna wanna do, and you always do it before you attack, is to check the clan castle to make sure there's no enemy troops in the CC. If there are, just like in the first replay, you pull them out, you take them away from the base, and you surround them with your archers, and you kill them. But you can see there, I dropped my hogs. Okay, giants are over here, barbarians, archers. The hogs jump right over the walls, and they're going straight for the defenses. Hogs are a lot better. They're probably the best option. If you can get hogs in your CC, you're going to three star pretty much every single Town Hall 4 without any problem as long as you kill the Clan Castle troops. Make sure to always kill the Clan Castle troops before you start your main attack or it will ruin your attack. But as you can see here, all the defenses are already down and we got about 20 seconds left on the replay. I'm going to two times it here, but Chai Barge is probably the only strategy you need at Town Hall 4. It's the easiest. It's like very adaptable. You can use any CC you want in there and uh, it'll pretty much get you the three star that you want every single time as long as you kill the enemy CC troops. All right, guys, second attack strategy we're going to go over here. This is the mass loon attack strategy. And on the bottom, you can see the army composition. We have 20 archers, 12 loons, and in your clan castle, you're going to want more loons. I don't have max loons in this one. I just have level five loons, which is just having a Town Hall 8 in my clan or a Town Hall 7 in a level 5 or higher clan. So as long as you have a Town Hall 7 or 8 in your clan, you're able to get the loons that you need in order to pull off this strategy. So we're going to go ahead and play here. The first thing you want to do is check the enemy clan castle for you know troops. If there are troops in the CC, make sure to pull them out away from the base and kill them. All right, so the main objective for the strategy is to take down the air defense. All right, and you're going to use, there comes the 
CC loons that I have, these are the level five loons right here. You're gonna use those loons to take down the air defense because they're strong enough to get hit by the air defense and not go down right away because they have enough health to survive. As you can see there, they end up taking down the air defense no problem. This is actually a Town Hall 5 I'm attacking. You can see the wizard towers right here. You don't have to worry about that at Town Hall 4 because there's no wizard tower at Town Hall 4. But this is just showing you how powerful the strategy is. Once all the archer towers and wizard towers are down, you're able to drop the archers, the remaining archers you have, and clean up the rest of the base. As you can see there, all the defenses are already down and the loons are just gonna make their way towards each remaining building and three-star this base. Very powerful attack strategy, super easy to use. All you have to do is make sure to use your CC loons to take down the air defense because as long as you have some tanky loons in your CC, they'll be strong enough to get to the air defense and take it down and you'll get the three-star automatically. The defenses at Town Hall 4 aren't strong enough to destroy the loons fast enough. So as long as you have a decent level loon in your CC, you'll have no problem taking it down. The next replay I'm gonna show you, you can also use the same strategy using hogs in the CC. You're gonna use the hog riders to target the air defense and then bring in your loons, okay? But as you can see here, three star, very easy. Absolutely destroyed the base. Didn't really stand much of a chance. And it was a Town Hall 5 that I was attacking and not a Town Hall 4, and I still was able to get the three star. All right, second replay we got here, and the last one we're gonna go over for mass loons. This is a very interesting replay because in the enemy clan castle, there is barbarians, and barbarians can't attack loons. So what I do is I place one loon just to check to see if there's anything in there that can attack loons. Archers, witches, wizards, all those units can attack loons, but barbarians, giants, you know, loons, valkyries, none of those units can attack loons. So if you know, or if you place a loon down and nothing comes out, that means there's a unit in there that cannot attack loons and you can attack the base with just your loons and three star it without having to worry about killing the CC. I'm gonna show you what I mean here in a second. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play it here and like I said, I'm gonna drop one loon. All right, so there's nothing coming out of the CC. That means there's either no CC troops at all or there's something in there that can't target loons. Unfortunately, I have the hogs coming out but they, t they go directly towards the air defense, right? They're gonna take it down but as soon as they take down the air defense, here comes my loons to take down the archer towers and they get close enough to the CC here come the barbarians. So barbarians can only attack ground units. A hog rider is a ground unit. The barbarians are gonna follow them around and try to kill them. So what I'm doing here is I'm not gonna place my archers yet. Okay, all the defenses are down. Look, the loons are gonna kill the barbarians and now I can place all my archers around the base and I don't have to worry about the CC anymore because the loons and the hog riders killed the barbarians that were in the CC. If it was a Valkyrie, they would do the same thing. If it was a bowler, if it was a loon, oh well, I guess they wouldn't attack a loon, but Valkyries, Giants, Barbarians, they would all kill the ground units that come out and then you can place your archers like I did here and you'll get the three star. If you had loons in your CC, you don't have to worry about killing the CC. You can just use your loons to take down the base. That's just a little trick that you can use if you're gonna use the mass loon attack to know if you have something in the CC that can attack your loons or not. If there's nothing that comes out, that means you can attack the base freely and use your loons to three-star the base without even having to worry about killing CC troops. But that's pretty much all I have for the video, guys. You have Jai Barge and you have the Mass Loon Attack. The Jai Barge, you can use anything in the CC with Jai Barge, and, uh, but the Hogs is probably the best option for that. And then the Mass Loons, you can use either more loons or you can use the Hog Riders. Both of them are just fine. Um, if you, whatever you use in the CC, make sure to use your CC troops to take down the air defense because the loons that you have at this level, they're only level two, I think. The air defense will take down your loons pretty fast, but if you have CC loons or if you have CC hogs, you can use those to take down the air defense and get that three star. Now, I know I'm going to run into people who say, you know, oh, I can't get loons or I can't get, you know, max giants or I can't get max troops from my clan. So if the problem is that you can't get CC troops or there's nobody online or you know nobody's donating, what you can do is you go to, I'm gonna leave my clan here real quick, all right? And I'm gonna go search for a clan and I'm gonna look for rec and go, all right? So there's a bunch of clans that come up called rec and go. One more thing I'm gonna do is go to advanced options and I'm gonna turn only clans I can join on. So I research for rec and go of clans that I can join. Let's see if there's any active Wreck and Go clans. This one doesn't look very active right now. Wreck and Go. So the season's been going on for a few days now. So we just gotta find a clan that's been decently donating. Uh, here we go. Okay, so this one's got 15,000, 4,000, and they're open right now. Let's go ahead and join. Okay. And we're just gonna, we can say anything. Let's see if anyone's online. Okay. 
And uh, hopefully someone's online that can give us some troops. And then we'll be able to have max troops in our CC or whatever level CC. So there we go. We got max level loons in our clan castle. What I'm going to do before I leave, you see this little blue thing, bookmark it. And then I'm going to leave, okay? You don't want to stay in the clan. They're going to kick you out anyway. But now if you go back into your clan castle, go back to clan and go back to bookmarks. Now you have the wreck and go clan, okay? Now you can go back to your clan. You can attack. And then, you know, if they're not online anymore, you can go back into the Wreck and Go clan and then you can get more max troops. Look at that. I got max loons without getting it from my clan. And now I'm able to go into war and absolutely crush bases because with max loons, you're going to absolutely crush every Town Hall 4 you come across. And you can probably attack Town Hall 5s too. All right. So that's one little trick for anyone that needs CC troops or can't get some. You should always be able to get CC troops. It should not be uh, that difficult to do. Just leave your clan. Find a wreck and go clan, grab some good troops, and then head back to your clan. Okay, that's the best way you can do it. If you can't get CC troops, you should always be able to get CC troops. Okay, but that's all I have for the video, guys. Hopefully, it helped you guys. If it did, I definitely appreciate like, comment, subscribe. And this is the first video you've seen from my channel. I definitely appreciate you for watching. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to let me know. Uh, if you want me to do like Town Hall 4 bases or anything like that, I haven't got any specific requests for that. But if you want me to do Town Hall 4 bases, just let me know. And I can put out a video for you guys. But that's all I have for the video. Again, if you have questions, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.